Thank you for joining Marianne and the Professor. I am here with Heiko Schumann, Dr. Heiko Schumann from Germany. Heiko, thank you for taking the time to speak with me. Yes, hello. So Heiko, uh, kind of bring us back to the beginning of when you first uh, dropped into the limelight. You <laughs> were at a very important gathering in Berlin with Robert Kennedy Jr., is that right? That's right, yeah. Um, I had the honor to speak in front of more than one million people at the great rally uh, we did in Berlin, August 2020. Yes, and uh, most of the people know me because of the event what happened four weeks after this. So in London, Speaker's Corner, I spoke out the truth and then the police came and arrested me at Speaker's Corner. So 700 years of tradition ended at Speaker's Corner of free speech. But the most important is, um, I said in 2019, months before the corona outbreak, that a fake pandemic will happen in 2020. And I kid you not. And I said this publicly in a long detailed interview. It was broadcasted September 2019. So I warned the public that criminals are preparing a fake pandemic for uh, 2020. And I named some names and I named some uh, companies and this exactly happened. So this is uh, the reason why they blocked me since, yeah, since, ever since. So how did you have a sense that something was going sideways so early? You were way ahead of the masses in terms of calling out the crime. Yeah, so long, long story short, I'm a medical doctor and I investigated um, a fake suicide. So if you remember, there were the anthrax attacks in the year 2001 with a deadly bioweapon, a bacteria, but a bacillus anthracis, anthrax. And the perpetrator, officially, was a man who committed suicide with Tylenol, yeah, paracetamol. And as a medical doctor, I looked into this case and, uh, and I proved scientifically he did not commit suicide. Wow. And he was not the lonely perpetrator. Wow. So, who did the cover-up? And I put it all in a book, yeah. Uh, game over, COVID-19, Antrax 01. Now it's now out and um, I followed um, the perpetrators of the cover-up of the anthrax attacks and yeah, I said, oh, these guys are planning for 2020 a big fake pandemic and I warned in this interview the police and all this stuff, this will happen. Don't vaccinate yourself before you investigate this. So they, uh, that's a long story short. So give me an update on Germany. What's the status of uh, the COVID pandemic and this takeover in Germany? Yeah, it's really sad because we have a great um, repression by the state. They're arresting people, they're arresting medical doctors, uh, they made um, home searches with judges, yeah, uh, for judges and they're arresting peace people here, yeah, like you. A woman like you, they're arresting them for terrorism. Yeah, so they're inventing things and do this. And the organizer of the event uh, in August, where I stood with Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Um, on the stage, yeah, we, uh, we held a speech. The organizer was kept nine months in prison in Germany, yeah, for nothing, for invented reasons. Yeah, for financial reasons, nine months in prison. Yeah, so this is the situation in Germany. House rates, detention, yeah. Yeah, and if it's remind you of the 1930s and 40s, well, it's going to this direction. But of course, it's not playing from right this time, it's playing from, um, from left. And it's not brown, it's green, yeah. Well, that's in a nutshell. So are you finding that more Germans are waking up to the reality of what is going on? What's the sentiment in Germany right now? Yes, yeah, so there are of course a lot of people. We had more than a million people on a demonstration. Yeah, but uh, it's not enough. Yeah? And the sad thing is so that uh, there is not, a lot, uh, not enough uh, support. And 
even here. Now I'm back in Britain, the first time since London, yeah. And everybody say, oh, I know you from Speaker's Corner, yeah. But very few people ask me what you were supposed to speak, what you wanted to tell me, uh, to tell us. And this is more important than the event. It's more important than my person, yeah. It's about the content. And again, I know the criminals, yeah. And I said the companies, and I said this before the Corona outbreak. Now um, a book is out. I've got here now a card deck, yeah. And I put all, all the characters in my book into a card deck. You can play poker and normal, normal stuff. So 50 characters are in that you know, yeah. You know Fauci, you know Schwab, yeah. But there are some other characters you should know. And this is the English edition, yeah. What a brilliant idea because you, in a sense, are identifying the perpetrators of this crime so that we know. Their identity, you know, their identity. We need to know who our enemy is. So rattle off the big names, the top, the top ten. Oh yeah. So who are the who are the uh, the characters here mm -hmm. that are really at the heart of yes. this? So, um, so the top characters where we could nail down the criminal pre-knowledge, and that's the point. Criminal pre-knowledge. Yeah. When a when a crime is pre-planned. Huh? It's not by chance. So, and you can skip every medical detail here yeah, about vaccination, spike proteins. You can skip it if you know. Oh, it's criminal. So, and the two uh, two people I, I named is uh, an U.S. general, brigadier general, and medical doctor. His name is Richard Tapp. He was a medical doctor of George W. Bush and the medical doctor of uh, Al Gore. Yeah? Yes. And he had criminal pre-knowledge of the anthrax attacks and he had criminal pre-knowledge of COVID-19. It's all laid down with real evidence in the book Game Over. Yeah? Very interesting. Yes. And we need support to bring it uh, to the US and to Canada. Yeah? This is, this is so important because he is uh, like the weak stone and domino in, in all the things, yeah? Absolutely. Because there is really criminal pre-knowledge and I have all the, uh, the evidence printed in the book, mounted on paper. Are they... Uh, give, us some, give us some more names. <laughs> well, I don't want to give too many things yes. because um, we need to focus on this. Yes. Perhaps one more name. Uh, since we are dealing now with the US. It's Edwin Mies, yeah? M-double-E-S-E, -E, Mies, Edwin Mies. He's an old croc, yeah? And, well, he was a personnel chef of, uh, chief of um, Donald Trump. Donald Trump gave him the Medal of Freedom, the highest medal in the Oval Office in October 2019, yeah? And he committed a lot of crimes with the Iran, uh, Iran Contra and so on and so on. And Edwin Mies was actively uh, was active in the cover up of the anthrax attacks. Yeah? With this person, you see, and Edwin Mies Foundation, yeah, they created the Corona Commission. Coronaviruscommission.com. And guess who was at the board? Dr. Richard Tapp. Yeah? <laughs> Very interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. So follow this person and yeah. Get these cards here. You oh. can play oh. so that you inform on a low level and gain curiosity first. Absolutely. Now I'm Canadian. Are there any Canadians in your deck? Um, no, not, but uh, Canadian uh, Canada is a major operation base for them. Yes. Yeah? And yes, you, you will figure out. So we even, certainly have even our, Canada is mentioned in my book. Yes, yes, because I mean Klaus Schwab brags that half of our cabinet is owned by the World Economic Forum as mm. young leaders. So there's no question, you know, That's we right. have some very dark characters. We've got Mark Carney, That's who is okay. the head of Bank of England. Yes. We've got I've got one more. Krista Freeland. I've got one more. Okay. This is extra for Canada. Trudeau. The Trudeau family. Do you know the mother of uh, Justin Trudeau, Maggie Trudeau? The mother of Justin Trudeau, she was a cocaine addicted. She was a drug addicted. 
She was the wife of Pierre Trudeau, Prime Minister as well. Yeah. And guess who was his, uh, her, one of her drug dealers? Michael A. Point McManus was involved. Yeah. And he was dealing um, with weapons and drugs before. He was in the, Reagan, in the White House with the Reagan Mafia, so with Reagan and Edwin Meese. And guess what? He is the Vice President of Pfizer. Vice President for Strategy of Pfizer. And Michael McManus is the Director of Novavax. COVID-19 vaccine maker Novavax. You got it? That's the point. And again, he was one of the, of the cocaine dealers, Atlantic uh, cartel, yeah, who gave um, the cocaine to, uh, to, um, to Justin Trudeau's mother and Pierre Trudeau's wife. Yes, it's the same old Crocs and Michael McManus is even here in the sinks. So, and if you don't know Edwin Meese, that's him. Very interesting. Okay, but that's all. That's you can cool. check out on um, more information on kla.tv slash 24568. It's in English, yeah. And yeah, we, yeah. we need more support to yeah. get out the real information. Now, is Germany passing laws like we are in Canada? freedom of speech because we have Bill C-11 mm. which essentially says you can't criticize government. Do you have anything like that happening in Germany? Well, um, as, I, as I told you, um, they execute this. Yeah? So I was detained for speaking and in London as well. I remember you seeing you live that, that's being arrested, a, that's a point, which was yeah. absolutely appalling. Okay. Are they leaving you but alone But I now, now need to go uh, yes. to work again. Okay. Thank you so much for your time. And uh, yes, I think we're all going to want to get our hands on your book and your deck of cards. Thank mm -hmm. you for your time. Good. Thank you very much indeed.